Hi. This instruction is on commodes. Commodes are portable toilets. They come in standard, pediatric, bariatric. Um, they apply or they have three in ones, they have standalones. A standalone means that it is only used as a bedside commode. You put it by the bed so that the patient or the person who's in bed doesn't have to walk far to get there. The other options are three in one commodes. Three in one commodes mean that the the commode can be used as a bedside. It can be used over the toilet as a toilet safety frame to help you get up and down on the commode and off the commode. And as a raised toilet seat. Again, a platform that raises higher than the normal seat to allow you to get on and get off the commode easier. This particular version is a folding commode, so when it's not in use it can be stowed away in very, very convenient areas. It has the frame, the backrest, the seat and lid, the bucket, the lid, and a splash guard. Okay, a splash guard is designed only for use when the commode is being used over the toilet. So when you're using it for a toilet safety frame or as a uh, raised toilet seat. And then this acts as a funnel so that there's no spray. You can raise it or lower it off the toilet and this will take up the gap, again, to minimize spray. For the sake of this assembly, we're going to leave them all attached to the same uh, uh, inside the bucket. To assemble this particular model, you have a little uh, two-point pivot uh, frame. The center portion raises and lowers, and it does have the ability, you can get it so that this thing can spin all the way around. Now, to avoid any confusion, there's two screws in the back. Those screws on the back side, you actually see the thread and a nut. You don't want to be able to see that. You want those to be pointing down or this chevron shaped piece here that holds the bucket, you want below the two seat rails. Okay, to assemble, you swing the arm around. There's a plastic connector port. You simply slide it over, push the button in. You hear that lock, that locks in the leg. Same thing on this side, you swing it around. Push this tube into the seating bracket, push the button, locks into place. At this point, this is how you would see uh, the framework if it was going to be over the toilet because the seat and lid uh, or the backrest that goes here wouldn't be used because uh, it would interfere and uh, push away from the bowl of the tank. So, the backrest is here and we're going to assemble this as if we're using it bedside but again, if you're not going to be using it bedside, simply leave this bracket off, or this backrest. Leave it in a box. Don't get rid of it, obviously, because you may need it for some other application. Now, to put this in, on the back side, you see these two ports, and in the center is a hole. The bracket itself should point away from the person in the seat, they simply fit in, push down, until you hear that lock, that click, and you can see the buttons exposed on the back side. Now the backrest is locked in place. And at that point, this thing is set up to hold someone who's 300 pounds. There's not going to be any problem with this at all. Now, once this is assembled, the seat, the lid, the bucket, all of these things will become placed inside the commode, so that'll fit inside that chevron area. The seat the seat has a set of clips that you can see right here. And they in turn snap onto the rail that goes across the back side simply center it, 
squeeze down. It, cl it clamps onto the back side of the rail. That's all there is to it. The lid, same thing. You simply set it down, it'll straddle that. You reach over, give it a little pat, and now this is in place. Seat and lid. Seat and lid. And when you push them back down, there's no gap. It sets and seals. It sets precisely. It doesn't necessarily seal. But at this point, it's ready to be used. The only addition or, or variance here now is that if somebody is tall or short, this, unlike your porcelain commode, has the ability to change heights. Idea here is you want to measure from the ground to the back of the knee. Ground to the back of the knee, that's just above where the calf starts to, to rotate or starts to slope in towards the knee. Right where it slopes is where you want to measure. And you simply take that measurement from the seat rail to the foot. So if you had a, uh, let's say you had somebody who's fairly tall, six foot, and the distance between the ground and the back of their knee was 20 inches. You take your tape measure, you obviously you've measured. You want to take that 20 inches. Out of the box it's going to be sitting at about 16 and a half. And you simply adjust that until you get to the right height. Now, if it comes to the point where it is in between two of the holes, and this one is actually, if we were looking at a 20 inch, this would be just a little long. You need to look at the person who's going to be using it. Are they, uh, if, if they're very long legged, then a slight over, it'll be all right, but it's better to default to slightly under, in which case there's not gonna be any risk of feet dangling on the ground. Now dangling feet, the issue with it, not that it's an overly bad thing for a commode, but the problem is, is that when you, someone sits on the commode and their feet dangle, like any other kind of chair, this bar can, when you're sitting, uh, reduce the blood flow to the legs. And it's not just this commode, it's any application like this. That's why you don't want feet to dangle. Because if there's any plane, any material that's going to be on the back side of the thigh, that the weight of the leg is going to push down on it can cause this restricted blood flow. So the default is go under versus over. So if it's 20 and we can get this to 19 and a half, go 19 and a half, not 20 and a half. At this point, you simply measure the holes, and there's one, two, three, four holes difference. So we're going to go four holes on each side. Two, three, four, 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 and four. This is going to give us a level platform. And that's all that's required. Now, the ability you've got if somebody comes in and asks to for a, a product, measure first. It, it pays to have a, a pocket. Uh, tape measure with you. That way you can say, well, if this person is, he may be six foot, but he's all leg. So he needs to have something that's higher than normal. Look at, verify the box. It'll tell you what the, the height adjustabilities are. Or you can call the support desk and verify that this particular commode will suit somebody of that particular height or that particular weight. Folding commodes have a 300 pound weight capacity and accommodate 90% of the people who need a commode, but there are others. So the, 
the ability of having one made out of aluminum or one that is a platform seat versus a seat and lid. There are, there are different versions or uh, options for them, but this is a commode and how it's set it up. We've gone over the usage, and if there are any questions, please feel free to contact the support desk. Thanks.